Hi, welcome to Back Studio. This is Bhuvan. In this video, we wanted to migrate Kotlin 1.9 to Kotlin 2.0. Actually, I don't really want you to drag you till end of this video to understand how the migration is supposed to be done. So instead, I'll give you one option where I just uh, add a dedicated documentation about it, like how this migration is supposed to be done. You just go ahead and see this um, particular documentation. So the reading time is just two minutes. I add one project, which is like a gift registry. And this project is fully based on the Kotlin Compose platform. When JetBrain announced K2, I really jumped in and tried to upgrade into the K2. When I do the migration from Kotlin 1.9 to 2.0 without touching any other code, I end up with seeing this error uh, and I really don't understand out of it like what it says, what check your Kotlin version, which is uh, greater than 1.0, because illegal state exception something so uh, in uh, pi model because it use the yield annotations in it right then i google it and then finally i found land answer to the page where they raise a de facto jet point saying that hey your k2 is not supporting the kep key i was thinking like okay kep is not supported by default why why don't we migrate into KSP? what i did was i just put the entry of dev tool ksp uh, i just specify the this idea and the reference and the version is this one Earlier I was using 1.9.0 and then later I migrated into 2.0, that's another story, okay. Put this uh, entry here and then I went on this global grader file and then just put an entry like this, allies, clip, start, plugin, start, dev, tool, ksp and make it as a font. Then I went to the each project and then just add the entry of this one like uh, dev, tool, dot, ksp. Earlier it has uh, a plugin for kept. I just replace that one with this one and then wherever I see KEPT I just replace with KSP that's it. Once this migration is completed make sure that you just compile you just clean this project and compile it again and make sure it works first. So once everything is settled down and do a couple of testing and make sure that your app is working as we expected. Once it's done what you're supposed to do is we'll kick start on the uh, second migration which we call it as a Kotlin actual 2.0 migration. So to do this one, just go to the version in Kotlin version specify that it's a 2.0 and then put an entry for uh, this Compose compiler, just uh, specify the ID and the version here as well. And again, go to your project root or root project grader and just apply this plugin like a Compose compiler apply forwards. And the same way, you just you have to go to the each and every model of Jetpack Compose, just add this plugin too. Okay, so this plugin is all about like uh, this will be doing that mapping like earlier uh, Kotlin release one version update means the equivalent compose plugin has to be provided by the uh, Google right we just have to map this compiler and just uh, telling to the uh, Kotlin saying that hey this is the one you're supposed to pick it up for this particular version at all. Okay, as they mentioned in the Kotlin 2.0 they said that uh, this this mapping you are not supposed to do by default because we are merged together and going forward they're gonna provide this compose compiler as part of the Kotlin 2.0 itself there's a short story behind it so once you did everything and try to compile your project again if everything set it fine then you would have great your application would have run as you expected you are good so in my case again got this error saying that uh, like uh, KSP, JVN, get change file, something, something. Just use this run with the info info options. Then I, then in the log, I would have seen this particular information. It says that uh, 1.9 is too old for Kotlin 2.0, please upgrade it. Then I went on this particular get, GitHub repository for KSP. Then I identify the latest version, which is 2.0.0. The moment I grade that particular KSP version to this one, I compiled that everything works fine. Additionally, I found that this Kotlin compiler extension version option is not required anymore. As I told you before, the same story, we don't need to provide the uh, Kotlin's equal to compose version year after because K2 itself will be taken care after that one. Okay, having said that, this option is not required anymore. You just give the retire, which, which means delete it. That's it. So once everything is settled down, just compile it and run it. And make sure that everything works fine so make sure that you covered each and every flu before you say it's done okay don't trust me me or don't trust the system and make sure that everything's working fine by manually validating it okay so i hope this video would help you in case if you guys have any question 
please feel free to put in the comment section i'll try to answer please do subscribe to channels you will be getting a lot of tips and you will be saving a lot of your time during the development okay because i'm a developer i'm not a youtuber okay guys so see you otherwise thank you so much for watching the video bye bye